Google Forms is typically used to create surveys, signups, feedback forms, and more. It can also be used to create quizzes that you can easily incorporate into Google Classroom. There's a variety of question types to choose from, and you can customize them in many different ways. Before you start using Forms, make sure you're signed into your Google account. The first thing you'll need to do is create a basic form. An easy way to do this is through Google Drive. Just click the New button, then go to More at the bottom of the menu. Next, click the option that says Google Forms, and a new blank form will open in a separate window. Now, before you start writing questions for your quiz, you'll need to make some changes to the form settings. Click the Settings icon in the top right corner, then click the Quizzes tab. From here, toggle the switch that says Make this a quiz. This will give you access to the options below, where you can control how your students interact with the quiz. Let's take a look at what these options mean, starting with when and where to release your students' grades. With immediately after each submission, students will receive their grades automatically as soon as they finish the quiz. You may want to use this option if your quiz is entirely multiple choice. The other option lets you review each quiz manually before giving students their grades. This is a good choice for quizzes that require a lot of typed answers. Below that, you can control what students can see when they take the quiz. Missed questions lets students see what questions they've missed after they've finished. Correct answers gives them the correct answers after they receive their grades. Finally, point values let students see the total points for the quiz and how many points they earned for each question. Once you've chosen your settings, go ahead and click Save. You can then name your quiz and start writing questions. Now, for each question in your quiz, you'll need to define the correct answer. To do this, click Answer key in the bottom left corner. From here, the options will be different depending on the question type you're working with. Let's look at the answer key process for some of the most common question types. For multiple choice or checkbox questions, all you have to do is select the correct answer or answers. Whatever you've chosen will be highlighted. For short answer questions, type the answer in the Add a Correct Answer field. You can also add multiple correct answers if there's a chance the wording may vary. If you check the box that says Mark all other answers incorrect, all answers that don't match will automatically be marked wrong. If you leave it unchecked, any answers that aren't an exact match will be left for you to review and grade manually. Paragraph questions don't offer the ability to add correct answers. Because they're longer and require more analysis, you'll need to read each one individually and grade them on your own. In addition to defining the answers, make sure you set a point value for each of your quiz questions. You can do that using the arrows here, or enter the number manually. You also have the option of adding answer feedback. This gives students customized feedback depending on the answer they've chosen. Once you're satisfied with your quiz, you can preview it and give it a try to make sure everything's working correctly. Just click the Preview icon in the top right corner, and your quiz will open in a separate window. Depending on the number of questions you have, you may want to separate your quiz into sections. This will make it so your questions are broken up across several pages, instead of all appearing on the same page at once. To create a section, look to the toolbar on the right and click the Add Section icon. A section will appear below wherever you happen to be in the quiz. Go ahead and use the field here to give your section a name. To move a question to a different section, just hover near the top, then drag and drop it into place. Once you've finished creating your quiz, you'll need to bring it over to Google Classroom. Fortunately, the process is simple. You can attach forms to your assignments the same way that you attach documents or links. When creating an assignment, just click the Add button, then choose Google Drive. Locate and select the quiz you've created, and when you're ready, click the Add button. After you've sent the assignment with the quiz attached, your students will be able to complete it. Now your quiz is ready to go. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.